Hello Internet. So I bought an electronic tuner, or I should say Melissa bought it for me, because I said um, I didn't want to buy it till the end of the month when I knew how much money I had. And Melissa's very nice and she said I'll buy it for you. Um, so I guess I owe her. And um, I was asleep. My, my sleep schedule is still mostly at night. I'm awake. Um, but I was trying to stay awake during the day for to be around Melissa. And so I have like a huge sleep deficit right now. And um, I had a bunch of coffee when I woke up. Melissa kissed me goodbye. She, she was going home and... Uh, her, her kiss woke me up like the frog prince, as my parents said. And then I downed a bunch of coffee, and I tried to go for a walk, because I haven't been out for walks lately. And uh, I only made it halfway what I usually do, because I was so tired, I was afraid I was going to pass out on the street. So I get home, have a glass of orange juice, and, uh, you know, uh, tried to sleep and uh, I lay there and I just I think I felt the coffee inside me and um, I have these pills that work with anxiety but they also make you tired and I could take one and try to sleep again but I don't know I'm like I'm like I feel like I'm seriously sick from insomnia and there was this woman behind us on the streetcar um, who was coughing nonstop, and I don't know. My friend is sick, and and I don't know if like I was a huge like I don't remember doing or saying anything bad, but just the fact that I was underslept, like I don't think that's pleasant for Melissa to be around, and I wish I could be pleasant for her and. She's trying very hard uh, with her own demons and being very successful and it's just kind of like, I'm just kind of like <laughs> in a really shitty place right now. But I thought I'd show you my guitar tuner. I've already uh, tuned it correctly, but I'll show you what it looks like. You can see it's right here. Uh, so you go like, and now if I were to do it perfectly, there wouldn't be any yellow on it at all. It would like, this green arrow at the top would light up. That says it's a perfect pitch. So it just kind of like stays shaking for a bit until the string stops vibrating. So what you can do is mute the string by putting your hand over it softly and that way you can go through the tuning more quickly. And uh, so see that's, per that's near perfect. And uh, uh, yeah, one of my strings is broken too, uh, so that limits me. But there's still stuff I can do with the remaining strings. And I would, li my life would be so much better if I was properly rested right now. I'm starting uh, speech patterns and forgetting where to end them and forgetting where I'm going. Okay, so what I was saying, uh, what I wanted to say was uh, the first time I tried the guitar tutor on my own, I basically tuned the thing upside down, um, and that. So my previous video, uh, where you like, where I said it didn't work right. The reason why I, I had, I didn't know which, I didn't know this is E, this is whatever, this is. So I, I did it upside down, and uh, so that's kind of funny, and that's probably why I broke my string. Uh, so. There's D. It seems D is perfect. And I just muted it. Yeah. 
near perfect G. And you see it, it shows you which string and the note that you're playing. And so I guess that's a near perfect B. Uh, so that's the second. You see, so this is the sixth string, and I was tuning it like it was the first. Uh, and yeah, or I don't know. I just did it wrong. Um, so that's my guitar tuner. And, uh... I'll put that there. And... You of course know I'm not faking having a guitar. Not that that's an issue, but you just saw the guitar, so... Uh... Such an idiot, and that just probably put everything off to it or something, I don't know. I'm sitting cross-legged, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Ah, uh, but I'm so tired. Okay, so, now I'm sitting correctly, and I refer to my chart. So yeah, that's a huge improvement, I guess. I didn't really hear it the first time. My friend went on Skype and showed me how to use the tutor right, but it, I... That's a big improvement. And it would be even better if I got the sixth string fixed, and uh, my friend wants me to I forget what he calls it. Set, I think he calls it setting up a guitar. Apparently it's pretty common and something they do in guitar shops. And he said he paid $25 for it, but I have no idea what the price is in my area. Oh, I forgot, I'm not even plugged in. Okay, so, sorry if you couldn't hear that. Um, I will plug myself in. But now I'm plugged in, so... That seems a little too loud. I think that's good. I don't know how it got like that. It's like every time you fix something in the learning process, something else pops up and you're like, but I just, I got to the point where I was supposed to get to and now I have to do something else and uh, some of it costs money and I don't have very much money. And So that was something. So D, 
I can't do because I'm missing a string, and G I can't do because I'm missing a string. C I can try to do, but I remember I suck at C. So that sounds a lot better. And my friend when he was trying to convince me to get this tuner, he was like, oh man, it'll blow your mind when your guitar's in tune. And yeah, it, it does feel better, but what really blew my mind was when um, like I figured out that I was actually capable of making progress and getting better at this. Uh, that chord's supposed to be muted. I don't know, I think that sounds pretty good as well, even though it says it should be muted. Oh, and A was supposed to be muted, so let's go back to A. can't do so let's go from A minor to A minor to A that sounds like part of a song it's so cool yeah, okay, my, my friend was right. This does kind of make it a lot better. Uh, it's just a shame that, like, I mean, I've bought Melissa a lot of stuff, but having your girlfriend buy you something, you kind of, like, you know, you, you, you know, like, women and men should be equal, and it doesn't matter that the one, my girlfriend, uh, is buying me something but feel like and I can tell she loves me um, so I, I, I don't think I have to worry about that um, but I've just been like first of all I was like actively mentally ill as in like saying crazy things doing not violent or anything but like when you think of a crazy person I was a crazy person <laughs> And there's much more politically correct language these days around saying that, but uh, so she put through that, she she put up with that uh, for like three months, and now I'm having this insomnia because the pills they gave me to fix the mental illness mess up my sleep, and I guess the coffee also messes up my sleep. Uh, it's, so it's just like, and there's like an adjustment period to the pills, and they might change the pills, and this is the first time that I, how my craziness works is basically, maybe there's some underlying crazy all the time, but like I, it, it like blooms into like just, I was copying the Bible, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, so it blooms into like, okay, that guy's definitely crazy, there's no question, and that lasts for about three months, and then there's like a slight depression period afterwards, and, um, up until now, like, I've, 
lost my mind a lot of times since the first time when I was 18. And um, a lot of the times after the three months of either being in hospital or adjusting to the pills or like whatever you want to call it, um, I usually go back to drinking beer or smoking weed. And that, that, that's, you know, it took a long time for me to admit that that is like definitely bad behavior. Uh, and I mean the beer, I felt it kind of acted similarly to the medication I was taking. Um, and I did become crazy like a week after I quit beer. So like the beer was kind of like keeping me down where I should be. But it was also making me very stupid. I noticed when I quit, I like my brain opened up and maybe it opened up too far and it had to be pulled back. And I'm adjusting to being around people while sober, which like, I guess I haven't really done fully. Like if you smoke a joint, you feel a bit of it the next day. Some people forget this because uh, they're like smoking every day and like, Oh no, I'm not high now because you don't feel the eu euphoria. <coughs> but when you're smoking weed or um, drinking alcohol, it lasts a few days after you do it. And when you're doing it daily, you don't realize that it, you're basically always compromised. So, I don't know, maybe this is turning into like some kind of therapy speech when it's supposed to be a guitar video. Um, and I'm really tired and insomnia, so obviously I still have problems and I haven't figured it all out. But let's go back to E. I apologize to my viewers who are used to me being fake crazy, either fake crazy like comedy crazy, or I, I apologize I'm mixing guitar with talking about my life. Um, this, uh, these recent videos are definitely more for me than an audience that I might have. I don't know if I have an audience. I mean, I got view counts, so some people watch. I don't know. I'm shaking now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, stop shaking. I tried singing. I, I tried singing in one of the other videos and that was just funny. Like so bad. And guitarists don't necessarily need to know how to sing, I guess. I mean I mean I guess I could learn to sing the way I learned to play guitar. And that's an interesting thought. So yeah, um this, the, the act of taking the video is taking up a lot of adrenaline, which is why I'm speaking somewhat coherently, or at least uh, I have a smooth forward motion of speaking. When I was talking to my dad earlier, I was like, bleh, 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 like, like talking like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching if you did. And uh, sorry about talking about all the medical issues and insomnia and everything. If that, if that bores you or you don't want to hear it, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you.